so hi everyone you might be knowing that deep seek has released their new model deep seek v3 which has been a sensation on the internet since then it has beaten all the open source models and it is also beating gpt 4o and claude 3.5 sonnet that these are the best closed source models on some major benchmarks but in this particular demo we will be trying to test deep seek on lead code problems can deep seek solve lead code problems for us and to spice it up i won't be providing it any sort of a prompt i would be straight away copy pasting the problem and whatever answer comes in i won't be even looking into it i'll just copy paste everything and let's see how it performs so let's try out lead code now this is the lead code window as you can see there are certain questions that we have heard so here you can see that easy medium hard these are the three difficulties that are present on lead code as you can see i'm not a great lead code user i'm quite new i just saw six problems so just for testing out things so in this particular run through we will first of all try out two easy problems then two medium and then two hard problems so let's get started so first of all i will be picking up this palindrome number i'll just straight away copy paste it okay okay i will copy paste this and then we'll move to the deep seek window generate a lead code solution i'm mentioning this because there is a specific format that is required for lead code that's why else it's not even required as you can see the model is quite fast it is also giving us certain details so let me try it out here i've copied the solution and let's go to the previous tab let's try to run it i think it might fail because yeah as this was a problem that i faced earlier also name solution is not defined so the solution there has to be a specific function that is required so i will again copy paste it back to lead code i won't be doing any changes let's see how automated i can do it so as you can see it is able to capture it it is a common in lead code style solution so now you can see that it is able to capture the problem let's go back to the window we will copy paste the same problem same solution let's submit it and we have passed the test now unfortunately as you can see it is using a lot of memory it is able to beat out just 6% of the people on a run time it is able to beat out just 20% of the people so this can be an issue that it is able to solve the problem but not giving us a very optimized solution right now let's go to our problem panel again roman to integer common a longest common prefix let's try this one out again i'm not reading the question as well copy pasting the stuff doing a control generate lead code solution and then i will just copy paste it as you can see the solution has started it is also explaining you all the different aspects of it and this time as you can see it is able to take in the class solution as i've mentioned it's a lead code problem we'll go back to the panel we'll copy paste the solution and let's see submit and we have passed the test and we have beaten 100% of the people that's crazy that's a crazy answer so in terms of memory again it is not giving us memory optimized solution that is one case so i think later we can test out to give out a more optimized solution in terms of memory and runtime but i think for now we will test it out just for the answer that it gives and whether it is giving us correct answers or not so we have tried out the medium problems and uh, the easy problems and they are looking quite straight away for deep seek so let's make things difficult for it this time i will be giving it a medium problem from lead code coffee let's go to tab generate a lead code solution i'm mentioning this just small prompt because as you saw it needs to wrap it up in a solutions class that's why else i think i wouldn't i would be just straight away copy pasting everything the solution has started again as you can see it is able to capture the issue that we had in the first case so it is not getting repeated that's the best part now we will go back to our window copy paste the solution and let's see whether it is able to give out answer in the first attempt or not 
and we have got an answer and this time in terms of runtime it's crazingly good it has beaten 90 percent of the solution in terms of memory i think still not that app so one common trend that i'm finding out is it is not giving you memory optimized solution but it is giving a solution to get started with so let's try out a different one integer to roman Uh, let's copy paste this entire thing. There are certain examples also. So I think this will help the model for few short learnings. So I think this will boost its performance. Give a lead code solution. Let's copy paste this one. The solutioning has started. It is giving diff uh, the explanations as well. But I'm not interested in that. I'm someone who wish to automate lead code for myself. So let's see what it has generated a solution. Looks to be a state of a mapping, I would say. So let me copy paste it here. I think it won't be the optimized solution. I feel so. Let's see what it generates. Oh my God, on runtime is it beaten everything. 100% like it. Memory, as said, it is not optimized. So one pattern we have observed is the solutions are not memory optimized. That's for sure. But in runtime, as you see, it's has taken less than one millisecond. So it's crazingly good. Now let's try out a few hard problems on lead code. Merge case sorted list. So I think this should be a challenge for the model. I feel so. But let's see how improved these LLMs are generate a lead code solution i'm copy pasting the entire question so it should not miss out on any context apart from that i'm not mentioning much to from my end let make it more memory optimized or make it more runtime optimized that we can check out later for now i just wish to check out its capabilities of coding whether it is able to solve out problems of that difficulty which is for now it has i think four on four for that two easy problems two medium problems deep seek version three has been able to solve everything in one go in one shot so let's see what it generates for this one the solution is a little long i would say this time it i'm expecting it to take multiple attempts let's see what happens here As you can see, there is an issue here somewhere. Now, finally, DeepSeek has stuck at some point. So we humans still have some liberty now. I'm quite happy that it is not it is not able to even answer in a straight first shot. Now, as you can see that it is updating the solution for us. So it has updated the solution. Let's go back to the tab. We will copy paste the solution straight away again. We have again got the same issue. So I think now we can say that it has stuck on one question. So for now, after five questions, it is able to give us answers for four, but not able to give us answers for the hard answer question. So this is something that to note. We will try out another question now, again from the hard stream itself. Generate a lead code solution. So our first attempt for hard question is fail. I tried it twice. I think in multiple attempts, it might be able to give you a right answer. But I'm just trying to judge how good the model is given a very baseline prompt, whatever question that we get straight away. So I think out of five, we have got answer for four straight away for hard problem. As I was expecting also, the model uh, was not able to give us a correct answer. Now we are getting the answer for a second hard problem. So let's see whether this is correct or not. Summit. Oh yes, we have beaten in the first attempt. So this is crazy. And as you can see that it is able to pass out all 350 test cases. In runtime, it is not performing that greatly in memory. As you can see, it's not optimized at all in terms of memory, but 
out of two questions that we have attempted on hard it is able to solve one of them so this is quite good let me attempt another one generate a lead code solution these are tough problems i think given a human also it's very challenging for us even at least for me because i'm not into competitive programming to generate an answer for these problems at least the hard ones you need to spend some time but even if such LLMs are able to give you almost 80 percent of the correct answer it's a big big win trust me on this and models like DeepSeek are open source so now everyone can go and polish their lead code profile i would say even kaggle profiles i would say uh, not the ideal way to do it but i think at times you need to mention certain things in your resume in that case it can help you out so let's move back to the window we'll attempt this question let's submit it and let's see what it generates now it is able to beat the second question also in the first attempt this is good this is actually good i think one thing that i noticed in the first question on which it failed it might be the case because it was around uh, linked list and I think Python linked lists are not that straightforward. So that might be the case if you attempt it with some C++ language that might be uh, it might be able to solve that too. So before we end, let me try out the last question. So on hard we have tried uh, we have tried three questions now. We have got answer for two of them straight away. We could have gotten an answer in the third or fourth attempt for the next one also, but we didn't attempt it long. This is the fourth question and this should clear everything for us. Generate a lead code solution but for whatever it has given an answer we have got two patterns one is quite straight away that it is able to generate an answer in first go that's the best part second memory optimization is not there at times runtime optimization is not there so for the hard problems that we have solved i think we are always below 50 percent so that can be one thing and that can be because of the language that we are using also i think because Python is not known for its optimized solutions. So if I attempt the same question for C++, I think we, the, we will improve on that aspect as well. So this is our last question. Let me submit it. Let's see what it generates. It is able to solve this one also. So I think the first can be taken as a blue moon, a rare failure. Apart from that, I think we attempted eight questions in all, four questions from the hard stream. Uh, four questions from easy and medium and out of eight we got an answer for seven that's a great hit rate uh and you can maintain your lead code profile very easily now using these free llms you don't need to even provide a prompt also just copy paste stuff as you can see i'm able to solve five four four everything using lead code because everything using deep seek because i'm not into competitive programming and this is going to change things trust me i hope you like this demonstration and suggest me more experiments that I can do. Thank you so much.